Hi guys, I'm so excited to introduce you to my in-flight routine. The inside of a plane is drier than the Sahara, so I think it's really important to keep your skin hydrated, healthy, and happy. This is my in-flight beauty pouch. I like to have, of course, the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser, then a mist so I can stay hydrated. I like to carry both the avocado and watermelon masks so I have an option, a lip balm, and then also a choice of moisturizers. Then I have a separate pouch for sheet masks, and I think for a 14-hour flight, which is the flight to Korea from New York, you need like a couple of sheet masks. So I brought two with me. I also have the Haramata cleansing pad, and then for sheet masks, I have the air mask from Make Prem, as well as the Sweet Chef ginger mask. So the cleansing step. It's incredibly important to start your skincare on a clean canvas. I usually like to cleanse with the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser in the bathroom before I board and I keep my face damp with a mist. But the Haramata Cleansing Pad is also a really great option. It's really portable, individually sealed, and just really helps to hydrate the skin in addition to cleansing and toning it. So for the misting step, I'm using the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. It has a layer of watermelon oil in it, which is really great because it helps to hydrate the skin and keep it really plumped and nourished. Just shake and spray. Um, I always ask my seatmates for permission before spritzing anything and because this has a really fresh scent that does dissipate really quickly, everyone didn't mind at all. After spraying generously, I do pat it in. I love that this is a fog mist and really, really super fine so that it just settles all over the face in a really even way. After misting, when my skin is damp but not dripping wet, then I apply a sheet mask. A sheet mask is really great to use on the plane because it creates this barrier where all the ingredients can be absorbed a little bit more effectively and really intensively hydrate and nourish the skin. I usually leave it on for less than 20 minutes when I'm on the plane. I really love the Sweet Chef Ginger Sheet Mask because it has a cute little saying on the cheek that kind of brightens my day, but also it's a really great material. It's semi-translucent and it's soaked in this wonderful essence that keeps my skin looking bright and hydrated. After you peel off the sheet mask, just pat the essence into the skin. Don't wipe our tissue at off. It's all really skin beneficial. Also throughout this whole process, make sure that your hands stay clean. Don't touch the remote control or the TV, just so that you're not contaminating your face with any unnecessary bacteria. After sheet masking, I like to seal everything in either with a moisturizer or a sleeping mask. Today, I'm gonna use the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. It's a great gel texture that doesn't dry out so that skin still feels really plumped, even on the super dry environment of the plane. And I love that it spreads clear and is just really, really pleasant to use in the plane environment. I love the scent as well. And when I wake up after a little nap on the plane, my skin is always bouncy and hydrated. They just turned the lights off in the cabin. So before I go to bed, I'm going to give my skin an extra spritz of the watermelon mist. I really continue to spritz throughout the flight because it's just so important to keep your skin, once again, very hydrated, very plumped to combat the real dehydration and dryness that can happen on a plane. I also tend to get really puffy on the plane because I'm not really exercising or walking around and then there's a lot of fluid retention. So I love to give myself a little facial massage. I just gently knead the pressure points of my face, cheekbones, cheeks, jawline, and forehead with my knuckles in a circular manner. And this really helps to drain any fluid buildup and just keep the face kind of sculpted and shaped.